I guess you're wondering what I'm doing here. And I guess you're wondering what you're doing here as well. In a world that was once full of wonders, theaters and cafes, cinemas and concerts, dances and parties and Christmas carols, you are here watching me. I feel sorry for you. And you probably feel sorry for me. You should, actually. I was supposed to be the snow queen in the school play on the main stage. <sighs> okay, maybe not the snow queen herself, but I had a line. <sighs> Beware, the guards are coming. That was my line. It's not in the original play, but my drama teacher put it into the play. So now I'm not in the play, there is no play, there's no school, and my drama teacher told me to write a fairy tale about what's happening in the world and post a video. So, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Once upon a time, for no reason at all, a wicked witch came. She was the most wicked witch in the world. She was like super evil and she hated everything that was good and nice. She hated friends. She hated schools, especially school plays. And she hated sports like hockey. And she hated that my team was just about to win the junior championships. And she hated restaurants and theaters and birthday parties. Boy, did she hate those. And she hated handshakes and hugging. And most of all, she hated grandmothers, so she cast a spell on the world. I declare that everything that is nice is now forbidden. I declare that the nicest things in the world have become dangerous and everyone shall cover their smiles from now on. Nobody can hug grandmothers because otherwise they could die. <laughs> Everywhere in the world and in the whole universe, grandmothers were locked away, all alone. And schools were closed and everything fun was forbidden and everybody became sad and the sadness was only seen in their eyes. And the saddest thing was yet to come. Christmas was coming. And this was going to be the worst Christmas ever. Even worse than the Grinch that stole Christmas Christmas. Because what is Christmas without hugging? Well, what is Christmas without grandmothers? <laughs> and I'm still working on the play. And it's kind of past the deadline. I'm just, I'm just not sure what the witch, wicked witch should look like. Like, uh, like this? Or, uh, maybe like this? Or this? Oh, not this. I'm not sure if my drama teacher will like the filters. She's kind of old fashioned. I think Shakespeare would have liked them. It's a fairy tale, but it's still a true story. That's the scary part. Imagine all the books that have ever been written, all the dystopias and all the fairy tales. How many books told you about a world without hugging? Have you ever seen the book, The Hug of Death? The killer of kindness strikes again? So nobody can have grandmothers close. Except me. I found a trick. I hacked the spell. I have my grandmother right here. She's, she's in this box. No, oh, she's alive, of course. Mama? Yes, darling. <laughs> See? She is right here, safe and sound, in this box. So, 
this is how it happened. The wicked witch was casting her spell. Ha ha ha! Now nobody can see grandmothers! Ha 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 ha! And every child has become poisonous! Hugging a sweet child can be deadly! Ha ha ha! I am so bad! I am so evil! I stood up and I looked her in the eye and I said, Stop! You are not taking away my grandmother! And because I know some magic myself, I put all my powers into a counter spell. You can't take my grandmother away from me, you wicked witch. I have magically saved her, and now she's in this box, safe and sound. No, she will not. You can't download your grandmother into a box. She'll be here until everything is over. She'll be with me during Christmas. So, that's what happened. And now my grandmother is in this box. Alma. Are you hungry? No, dear. Why are you asking? I saved her from the spell. I can keep her under my bed. I can talk to her anytime. I can ask her to tell me stories from the old days. Emma? Yes, dear? Do you want to sing a Christmas song? Now? What are you doing, dear? I can't see you. I'm talking to my followers. What do you mean, followers? Have you started a cult? No, Amma. I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, of course. I was only just kidding. <laughs> so, my grandmother is in this box here, safe and sound. Sarah? Yes, Amma? What are you saying about me being in a box? Are you telling your followers I am dead? No, Emma. I, I'm, I'm making a fairy tale. That sounds nice. And am I in it? It's about a wicked witch and how I saved you and put you into a magic box. Am I in a box? Is that the reason you sound so strange? Can you please take your phone out of the box? You know that my hearing is not so good. <sighs> I was pretending that you were in my box, that you were here with me. I miss you, Emma. Well, I miss you too. And, and I was making a fairy tale about how this is gonna be the worst Christmas ever. Now, now, why do you say that? I bet that even Santa Claus will be told to stay away. He might be a super spreader coming into every house. You spend too much time on the internet, darling. Well, but really, Emma, it's sad. It's the worst. This might be a Christmas without you. Yes, that is sad. But what can we do about it? In your fairy tale, is there a lesson, a solution? No. The witch is so ugly and envious and she ruins everything for everybody and everything becomes depressing and boring and Christmas becomes the worst ever, the end. Well, that does not sound like a real fairy tale. Who is the hero? There is no hero. Nobody can do anything. Everyone is stuck in their homes. There must be a hero. Nope, no hero. Well, a hero confronts the danger and restores order. And how do you win? What, what is her weakness? We were supposed to kill the evil witch by doing nothing. How fun is that in a fairy tale? So in the final battle, everyone does nothing? And how long is the final battle? One year? Make that into a movie. Imagine the history books, the great heroic generation that won the great challenge by doing nothing? But if you think of it, it is true. You really did save lives. You might have saved my life. You can be proud of that. Maybe your teacher's life as well, or just some random person's life. And are you sure you were doing nothing? Well, I've done nothing since last winter. Okay, so that must have been very easy. No, not really. 
No, it was hard to do nothing. Yeah, of course. You just said you did nothing. How can that be nothing? So you had no feelings? Of course. I was sometimes afraid, sometimes sad, often lonely, frustrated, angry, disappointed. That doesn't sound like nothing to me. It actually sounds heroic and dramatic. Like when you see a wild animal in the forest. Sometimes the only way to survive is not to run, but to stand still, completely still. Isn't that heroic? To stand still when the wolf comes and sniffs you? Why can't you just be sad? You always have to come up with stuff like this. And Gandhi, how did he win? By sitting down. He was not a war hero. He won by being non-violent. And Rosa Parks, what did she do? She just had a seat, sat still, and did nothing. And Greta Thunberg, what does she do on Fridays? She does nothing. No school for her. Sometimes doing nothing is the most powerful thing you can do. Maybe this will be the Christmas that showed you what matters most in life. Okay, Emma. So, help me finish the play. I have to send it to my drama teacher tonight. Oh, you can play the witch and put on this filter. Oh, don't do that. You'll be the witch and I will be the hero. So, what do I say? You're the witch that hates everything. You hate hugging, smiles, handshakes, schools, grandmothers, restaurants, theaters, parties, and Christmas. You're the biggest party pooper forever. Hmm, but why am I so bad? Did something happen to me during childhood? Did I have mother issues? Was I once a pretty princess? Did I lose the love of my life? What's my motivation? I don't have time. It's just one scene. I, I don't have time for a background story. So start. I declare that everything nice shall become lethal. A smile can kill. To sing together is forbidden. And a hug can be the hug of death. <laughs> oh no, the boring witch strikes again, ruining everything that is fun. <laughs> I win, I win. I am the most evil, boring thing that anyone has ever seen. Nothing happens now. <laughs> everyone is stuck in their boring bedrooms. Nobody can make friends and nobody can hug grandmothers. <laughs> what do you think of that, little girl? Oh no, what shall I do? I must fight. I must gather all my friends and attack. Ha <laughs> ha yes! Run around and gather a whole army. <laughs> That would only make me stronger, you poisonous little child. Oh no. What do I do? Uh, wicked witch? Yes? What do you think of my secret weapon? What weapon? The most boring fight of all time. The incredible act of extreme, mad, crazy, amazing, nothing. Excuse me, child. Don't you have anything to say? Uh, oh, help! Help! She is killing me! Oh, help! Help! She is standing still! Oh, this is such a dramatic and epic battle! She sits there like a super Gandhi! Kills me uh, by doing nothing. Uh, oh, evil spirits, uh, come to the rescue. Well, 
know, <laughs> this might become the most boring Christmas ever, but at least you have a heroic story to tell your grandchildren. Yes. <laughs> How I saved lives by doing nothing. How I showed love by not hugging. The crazy enchanted Christmas. The end. <laughs>